this happens to be a slug snake egg. That's right, you may remember we've been checking up on our female pieball ball python hoping for good eggs. Well, this is a slug and it has taken us a little while to get any eggs from her. You might want to remember that, right? Go ahead and roll it. Nope, not today. Not today. Let's hope for the best. No. Nope. Darn it! No egg! I got the plastic bag, you know? So today is the day that the female pied laid. And let's see what she has to offer us here. Just pull back this paper. Look at that! Beautiful clutch of eggs. That's right, she did have one little slug in there, but look at those pearly whites. And oh, mama looks like she's wanting to protect. Go down, mama, that's all right. Let's go ahead, whoa, mama. It's all right, good mama. I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and cover her up, get her a little bit relaxed there, and let's go ahead and set up an egg box. Just out of nostalgia, let's hit that egg time song. Egg time, egg time, egg time, egg time. And now, the moment of truth. I tell you what, I am beyond excited about this clutch. And I've thought the pies and ball pythons have always been one of my favorites for sure. You can kind of see. I'm just going to move this out over here and we can get a chance to see her. Wow, is that absolutely, I tell you what. That is a sight that I needed to see. Cause you gotta remember, oh mama is not happy right now. It's okay mama, I promise I'm gonna take care of your eggs. You remember we started kinda sketchy, right? Where we had a bad clutch egg. And then we had that surprise clutch of pastels I didn't even know was grabbing, but this was the girl I was waiting for and I am so happy. Mama, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Wow, oh, she got me right on the hand, I tell you what. Sometimes you try to steal a cookie out of a cookie jar and you get bit, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead, just see if we can get her. Boy, she is really keyed up. It's okay, mama, it's all right, you're really good. Okay, we'll just get her aside really quick and then we can go ahead and get these eggs out of here. Nice, fresh eggs, looks like she just laid them because they're definitely still very, very pliable. Go ahead, just get these out, put these over here. Three more eggs right here. Come on, mama, you did okay. Oh my God, that's so good. And she looks pretty good all in all. We'll get her cleaned up. We'll go ahead and get her a meal here in the next couple days and she's gonna be back on the rebound. But how awesome is that? We got a clutch of eggs from a pie ball to pie ball, meaning that the entire clutch is gonna be pie. Go ahead and put mama back really quick. And like I said, I'll go ahead and get her all cleaned up. Oftentimes what we'll do also is wash the actual animal itself just to get the egg kind of sent off so she goes back onto food. And that's one of the benefits benefits of taking the eggs away like this and artificially incubating is that if they maternally incubate, they wrap around those eggs, they won't eat or drink for two whole months. So this way we can get her back onto food and get her beefed up, ready to breed next year. So all in all, we've got two, four, six beautiful eggs. We did get one slugger. You guys know what we're gonna do with that. We're gonna go ahead and feed that off to something here in a minute. But how awesome is that? We are on our way, guys two good clutches in a row, and we still have a bunch of females that are about to lay here pretty soon. The egg season in the ball python world is starting, and it's gonna be a banger of a year. Cannot wait to bring you along on all of it. Gonna get these eggs in an incubator and uh, go feed off the slug egg. Hey Jay, do you wanna eat the slug egg? I don't, actually, I really don't. Okay, well I guess Jay doesn't want it, so let's go ahead and feed it to Ubisuku. All right, here we go. I think that Ubisuku knows what's going on. Come on, girl, slow down. Slow down, slow down. Right over here, right over here, right over here. Oh, there you go, girl. Oh, there you go, little monkey. What are you doing, silly girl? Oh my God. Yeah, she likes it. Again, we're gonna try to do this all year long. Hopefully, we won't have that many slug eggs this year, but when we do have slugs, we're gonna put them to use and have our monitor lizards or whatever around here wants to eat them eat. It's gonna be good nutrition for them. But again, let's hope we don't have many. Last year was a great year. We started the year a little bit rocky with only one slug in this clutch. I'm pretty thankful and I'm pretty hopeful that the rest of there is gonna be amazing. What are you guys doing over here? It looks like you set up a murder scene over here or something like that. <laughs> You're just trying to get, oh, you're trying to get Nova to get upset with Night Fury? Murderscenes.com. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're so, uh, Okay, so we actually do have something I'll be talking about soon. Why we're taking these pictures, you guys are going to love it. But uh, still about a week or two away from letting you know about this one. Let's go find Lori really quick. Hey, Lori. All right, so we're going to unbox this. This says Brian and Lori Barjack. Uh, so if it's something for her, I'm going to keep it. Oh, here she comes, you know. I knew it. I knew she was gonna come as soon as she saw that it was something maybe for her. Is it chocolate? I think you need 
<laughs> You'd be better off with chamomile tea. Dun, 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 I think this is yours, and this is mine. <laughs> Classy, sassy, and a little bit <laughs> I actually needed a tank oh, top today, dope. so perfect. This one is super cool. This one is super cool. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Who is well, it thank from? you. Oh, yeah, I should read this real quick. So, it's Dear Brian and Lori, uh, you won't remember me, but uh, we came to the Reptarium in July. It was amazing. I've been meaning to send these guys forever. Uh, thank you, Shauna from upstate New York. Thank you, Shauna. Okay. Misty Mike is feeding bugs off today. You know it's always funny. Let's just go ahead and roll a little montage about that right now. Pretty excited to let you guys know that we hired the architectural firm to start working on the expansion of the Reptarium Aquarium. That's right, we hired them. Uh, it's going to be a process. It's going to take us a few months just even going through all the drawings. But hopefully here in the next maybe few weeks, month, whatever it is, I'll be able to share with you the conceptual drawings of what this place might look like. I figured you guys would be interested. It's on its way. Uh, again, lots of boxes to still be checked. I am 99% sure that we're going to go through with it, but at least we got the first step started. Looks like our female egg eater actually shed out. Look at this right here it's always cool you know these sheds like this remind me of what I used to see in the woods when I was a kid when I was garter snake hunting you'd see the sheds and you knew snakes are around which is pretty cool I honestly didn't realize that egg eaters hide as much as they do but they certainly do because you can't even see where she is in here and I promise you guys here in the next week or so we're gonna try to get an entire video her eating an egg and then crushing it and spitting it back out it's really an amazing thing to see but in the meantime it's good to see that she has a beautiful shed what are you doing just seeing if she wants to drink water. It's an alligator. So they still drink water. They spend their whole life in the water. They still drink water. How do you know? Have you ever seen one drink it? No. Have you? No. Have you ever seen one not not drink water? Ooh. That's a double negative. So? <laughs> <laughs> So what, it's crazy to see the monkey tail skinks are always hanging out up front now. They used to hide all the time. And this is a pair. Remember, I've been waiting for like over a year to have some babies. These have live young and they're absolutely incredible because they're little carbon copies of these guys. But unfortunately, I just don't know what's going on. Look at this little guy. What's the matter, buddy? What's the matter? Oh! Whew. And they have a pretty nasty bite too. So I definitely want to stay away from this one. This is the boy here. I think the girl is a little bit more docile. She's actually pretty good. You can pet her and everything like that. But that boy, he is definitely territorial. And that's all about it, right? He's protecting his girl, which is really good. They're absolutely incredible. And hopefully we'll have a little baby here soon. Of course, for you guys who don't know, the coloring book is amazing, and I'm starting to see some of your artwork getting sent to me on Instagram. You guys are killing the coloring book. You can go to reptarium.com and get them. They're only 10 bucks. Go ahead and color them. When you do color them, tag me in it, and I'll share some of my favorites. You guys are killing it. I absolutely love this thing. One of the things that I love, the fact that weather is starting to warm up and in the 70s, is the fact that we can take our animals outside. And Ubusuku actually will love going outside. Give her a little spray down and scrub, because she's got a little bit of stuck shed on her. So what do you say we get her, take her outside, and see if we can manicure her up a little bit. Outside? Ubusuku definitely thinks she's gonna get fed. So I always use this as just to kind of, you know, to touch her, to let her know, hey, listen, we're not feeding you today, it's okay. And you know, she'll probably, when I first get her, still be a little bit whatever, but she calms down really quickly, as you can see. Good girl, as soon as she knows there's no food, but you can see that there's just a lot of stuck shed on her, which is really typical for monitors, to be honest with you. So let's take her outside and wash her up. Outside? There you go, girl. I'll be right back. I know that's good. That probably feels good, doesn't it? Get some of that shed off. It's still not going to come all off. Pretty cool enrichment for her to walk around out here. Again, she's got a lot of shed still on her, but we got the little pieces off, and I'm sure she had a great time out here. I love the fact that we can start bringing our animals outside. Outside? Really hoping that we get some eggs from our lychees this year. If you remember, this was my very first lychee I ever got. This is Big Bertha. It's just a GT or Grand Torino, and I love her to death. And this is the first year we're actually going to be trying to breed these guys. So with any luck, we are going to get some babies.
babies and that would be absolutely amazing just in time for the new Caledonia room that we've been working on building out we're just waiting on all the materials maybe another month or so and the new Caledonia room will be ready to rock can I get out butterscotch? yeah I guess you blew up for kids butterscotch did we already knew it yeah. you gotta just do it It is hard to believe that in less than 60 days, we're gonna see some of these little beauties right here, little baby piebald ball pythons. I mean, how awesome is that? It took a while, but it finally happened, and trust me, guys, within a matter of a few weeks, we're gonna be getting eggs every single day, so I am excited. If you enjoyed this, as a matter of fact, over on this side, you can go through a playlist of us getting snake eggs. On this side, you can hit that subscription button, turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.